Hey. Yeah? 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 Ha? Ha? Hey. Yo. That's the new Migos, bro. It's for the culture. Huh? 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 Hey. Trim's in order. Trim's in order. Bloody order. It's in the water, show, baby. Come on. Yeah, no, we're here now. Come on, don't come to the water, show, don't trim. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks, back with another video. And today is our very first award show on the best encore performers of 2017. Now I know the title of this video is a top five performers of 2017, but it's more like our favorite performers of 2017. And we've taken some things into consideration, like price, mm -hmm. how good the shoe felt on court, right. um, all the usual suspects. And also we looked outside the box as to how us as consumers, as everyday consumers of basket products like our shoes to perform on court. So there are a few different things that we took into consideration, we made our picks, but all in all, this is quite biased as to Timmy's and I's opinions of what we thought of these shoes. So these are our favorite picks of 2017. We hope yours too. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So before we get to the list, a few honorable mentions. First off, the LeBron 15. Easily the best LeBron we've seen so far with that amazing cushioning system which felt great on court every which way. The traction was pretty good as well. The brand new battle on it upper which was truly incredible. But I didn't quite make the top five list because it's not really a true for us. Yeah, it's not really. Honest. We're not big men. We're not big men. As you much know, as I felt like it and I wish I was. Yeah. I don't weigh LeBron. No, no one does. Did you see how I didn't say I don't weigh like LeBron? I don't weigh LeBron. Is that Boris? Might have been. <laughs> <laughs> Next honorable mention is the Colby AD Mid. This is a fantastic shoe. Probably one of my favorite Colby's to play in. Mm -hmm. Not my favorite Colby, but one of my favorite Colby's. Amazing traction, great cushioning. But the reason why this shoe didn't make the list is because of this material. This felt like fake suede material was not something that I'm a fan of. I've only played in these shoes maybe like 15 odd 15 mm. times and it already looks like I've been through 16 seasons um, a couple playoffs lost in the finals but for let me try it again yeah I can see the loss in there I and then I lost the again loss. afterwards so um, amazing shoe overall but the materials weren't amazing that's why this shoe is not on our list Plugged it in. Bitch. good timing as well let's get it so our last honorable mention and probably one of the best of the three is the Curry 4. Now this shoe is easily probably the best traction of 2017. Maybe the yeah. best traction we've seen in maybe a little uh, while. A long, long, long while. A wow. little while. Water ripple effect, stuck to any floor. Yep. Absolute grip, defensive slides, step backs, twist turns. Fantastic stuff. Why I didn't make it in the top five was simply that heel slippage, that heel counter that just isn't there. And these breaking materials, which damn near take about three to four weeks to yeah. fully break in. I Maybe think yours are broken now? Yeah, mine are broken in. Define broken in. Ah. Uh, uh, how, do how do you find it breaking in? Um, feel good. <laughs> For those reasons, that's why the Curry 4 didn't quite make the list. However, still a fantastic encore performer with some really positive points as to why it's such a great shoe. So without further ado, getting into that top five list, coming at number five is the Crazy Explosive. 2017. Thank you for that. Prime Knit. This is an amazing encore performer, bro. Mm -hmm. This is a shoe that really embodies the boost is life philosophy. Boost is life, say that again. Boost is life philosophy. Different, yeah. Fantastic shoe. Everything about this shoe was damn near perfect. The only reason why this shoe is not number one mm. is because of the inconsistency with the traction. Yeah? Oh, that's fair. Everything about the shoe was brilliant. I hear that. Just the inconsistency with the traction, that's why this shoe isn't quite number one, but this is a brilliant encore performer, bro. The boost is amazing, priming it feels buff. Boost is life. So next up, coming at number four, the Nike PG-1. Paul George. Paul George. This 
again is an amazing on-court performer. Yeah. This is one of those shoes I actually took for granted. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we don't have a performance review on our channel because our channel is in its infancy, right? Yeah. So we only started about six months ago. That's right. But the PG1 is an amazing on-court performer. I think you and I both agree yeah. it's four foot zoom over heel zoom. Every time. Yeah, and this shoe took care of that. It's one of the only shoes I think for a while. Oh, it's had four foot. For a while, bro. For a minute, one of the yeah, one of the top shoes anyway. But yeah, yeah felt amazing, 100%. The traction is fantastic, bro. Mm -hmm. The traction is so good. I've actually had this shoe since January, I believe, or February, and the traction is still great a whole year later. Oh, yeah. Almost a whole year later. That's how amazing this traction is. The Mutter cushioning, as you spoke, four foot zoom is buff. Probably my favorite setup in a Nike basketball shoe. I prefer it over heel zoom. Mm -hmm. Fire on carry on four foot zoom is. Mm. The hell was that? Something different. <laughs> and then the uppers, again, amazing materials. The shoe fits amazingly with the four foot strap as well. It adjusts to your feet. So I'm guessing with a lot of people, mm -hmm. the way the shoe fits is different for everybody else because of the way the four foot strap adjusts to everybody else's foot. There you go. So this shoe is up there, man. So up next, coming in at number three, the Adidas Dame 4. Damien Lillard. Yes, it is. This is a shoe that I can't quite get off my feet right now, bro. Yeah, I, 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 I can see that. I love this shoe. I this shoe that. performs so well on court. I'm low-key jealous, though. I didn't get a pair of these, but the, I'm low-key jealous. You might need to, man. I'm you might need jealous. to. The traction is amazing. It's not the best aspect of the shoe. Mm -hmm. The best aspect of the shoe is that bounce cushion. Boost is life, but bounce is amazing. So, bounce is so good. It's a great balance between responsive cushioning with great court feel and decent amount of impact protection. The one piece construction, you know, with the TP yarns underneath the mesh that moves nicely into this neoprene collar is fantastic as well. This is a really great shoe for guards. Us being guards, a shoe priced at almost 90 pounds, this is an amazing yeah, basketball that's a steal. shoe. That's amazing a steal. basketball shoe, bro. So, yeah, this is number three. It's hard. I want to make this number one. Really? But number one is a whole different no, story. Number, number one is we'll get there, there, bro. We'll get it's there in uh, a second. It's, it's but this thing. shoe is amazing. Definitely Adidas's best shoe. Oh, yeah. By far. They did a fantastic job with this. Damon Lillard, if you're listening to this video, well done, bro. I'm proud of you. So, number two on our list, we have the Nike Hyperdunk 2017 Flying It. With React. Oh. Is it? I'm here now. What's, I'm here. what's your reaction? Oh my god, Boris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! Flo! Alright, somebody put me out because I'm on fire. Okay. So, as you guys already know, Timmy and I. <laughs> god. My name's Flo, bro. I know your name. My name's Flo. Obviously, don't. Look at my back. Run it back, it's called you. Right, right, right. So, as you guys already know, Flo and I are really big fans of the Hyperdunk line and always have been, but this one came in like a madness. Clutch. The fourth war. It's, it's an amazing Overtime, shoe. finals, everything. Amazing stuff. Traction, A1. The new React system, the new React cushioning, A1. The flying it upper, A0. A0. What comes before A? I don't know. I was about to say X. <laughs> <laughs> everything about this shoe was absolutely fantastic. Now for me, I'm a big fan of high top shoes and also a big fan of flying it shoes. So to have them both in one shoe, is basically what I'm looking for every time I pick up a pair of shoes. So this shoe, yeah, it deserves its spot. Yeah. It deserves its spot. And it's only being beaten only by a little bit by, of course, our next, uh, yeah, yeah. Our our next, next madness. Our next beast. So last but definitely not least, coming into that number one spot, born in Australia, raised in the States, NBA Rookie of the Year, three-point contest winner, all-star MVP, 2016 NBA champion, Uncle Drew himself, the Nike Carry 4. Oh my God. Now this was a shoe that only recently just got released. And my God, is this shoe amazing? Oh my God, it's so good. It's so good to me. It's so good. It's so good. Oh my God. Carry, thank you, bro. Nike, thank appreciate you. it, bro. Oh. How are you, man? Do your thing, bro. Every box is ticked. Everything. Traction, ticked. Midsole cushioning, ticked. Materials, ticked. Just the fit, ticked. Support, 
tip. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Stop! He's already dead! There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong what with it. What do you say to a shoe? There's nothing wrong with it. I love it. It's so good. Now, again, we are biased because we are both guards, both and this guards. is a shoe for guards, of course, Kyrie Irving being a guard. And this shoe, it just answers all the questions that Kyrie fans asked Nike. Do you know what I mean? Like, the Kyrie 3 lacked cushion. That and this it. shoe, the, bit, the most amazing thing about this shoe, I think, is the cushion. I agree. That cushion on foam with the zoom in the heel that you can feel straight out the box. <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. What you, what you... It's just absolutely incredible. This is an incredible shoe. Thank you. Thank you. So, all right, guys, there you have it. That's our top five picks of 2017. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And as always, comment down below if you agree with our list, if you've got your own top five as well, and if there's anything you would change in our top five as well. Flo, you want to come on my socials? So follow us on socials, Instagram and Twitter. Instagram is purekicks.ig and Twitter is purekicks underscore TW. And as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we've got a lot, we've got a lot planned for you coming up very, very soon. So hit that subscribe button. I guess that's it from us. This is Pure Kicks. That's our top five. Let's get it. Damn it, Florence.